Okay ladies and gents, so what I've got here is a 7 ounce Namix lead. This is how you would pick it up from your uh, local tackle shop or from your lead dealer. So obviously they come with the little black uh, sort of rollers there, I suppose you'd call them. The first thing that we do in order to clip the lead is we take those off. So flick the lead out, knock them off, make sure you dispose of them or recycle them responsibly. What we need now is a pair of needle nose pliers, I find works best. And looking at the lead side on, what I do is I come across from the top of the lead and you bend it in. This takes a bit of getting used to, a bit of a knack to it. Switch over, do the other side, like so, bend it down good and tight. And then what we do is we just return the grip back out, like that. So hopefully, what you should be able to see there is that it's nice and angled. I'll tell you what, if I get those out of the way, we'll do the other side, gives you a better idea. So we're coming between quarter of an inch, half an inch maybe up. Bend it back out, like so. Bend that back in a little bit more. So I don't know if you guys can see that there. It's not very even, it's difficult to do it when you're trying to look at a camera. And you push that then back over. And you can hear that click, where it clicks in. Do the other side and I'll show you properly. So over to the top of the lead, roughly equal with the top of the lead. Give it a good, good firm bend over in. And then kick it back out. Same with the other side, same thing again. Roughly over to the top of the lead, good bend in. And then a good bend back out again like that and then if I turn this over the other way you can see then when you come to clip the lead in you it really does take a firm click into place what this achieves is essentially where you've got a real heavy tide pulling through very often I certainly find that the leads have a habit of springing. Now I know some people uh, might put elastic bands around the, the bottom of the lead to try and hold the wires in. Uh, some people take the rollers off and, and just really pinch the, uh, uh, pinch the wires inwards as hard as they can. But I find that that, that really can uh, just still pull quite easily to be honest in a, in a very heavy tide especially um, if you haven't got the softest uh, tip on your rod with with this method here um, essentially that is a real real firm grip it it really does take some some pulling to to clip it out and and for that lead to to pull and I, I don't know how well you can see in the video but it, it it really is marking the side of the lead it's taking that much pressure to pull it off don't worry, it will still unclip. So you're not gonna be anchored firmly into the bottom and losing a load of leads. But I, I find it, it really does give a much, much firmer hold onto the seabed and does prevent uh, a lot of that situation where your, your leads prematurely spring. So all I do then is, is get, the, get the grip wires up to, to roughly the right angle that I like. And then if I get a different pair of pliers here, just cause it's a bit easier. And then all I do in addition to that is just turn the tops of the wires up, helps it work a bit more like an anchor um, and get a, get a decent grip on the, um, on the seabed there. Helps it, helps it bed in uh, more quickly, or I find it does as it's, as it's getting pulled along. So that there then gives you uh, a finished lead. The only other thing that I do, and it's it's entirely personal uh, preference. Obviously, one of the ways that you uh, can tell what what leads you've got in your box at a quick glance is is by the colour of the rollers: black for a seven, red for a six, etc. And I, I know a lot of the lead manufacturers have uh, colour codings as well on their leads. Obviously, now we we haven't got that there. 
there's any number of ways that you can mark these. For me personally, I've just got a, a little metal stamp. Um, you can pick these up very cheaply from anywhere, uh, really any hardware shop or online, eBay, etc. And what I do is I just um, give it a quick, give it a quick stamp. It doesn't need to be particularly hard, and just emboss the seven on it there. Sometimes I'll go round and, and do one every single side just so it's it, it's quicker to identify the other thing you can do obviously and I've, I've got one here somewhere but I, I haven't prepared it is you can get a sharpie and and just mark mark the lead with the permanent marker in in a black color uh, obviously that does wear off over a period of time though but essentially guys that's how you set up um, uh, where I call it a clipped lead how you clip your leads uh, I know a lot of um, a lot of other people pro probably call it other things but it, essentially that's that's how I make it work. So hopefully for some of you that's useful and uh, tune in next time for the next tip.